Hello friends, how's everybody doing out there? It's your friend Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, the British campaign on normal difficulty on sea and land. We've got now five lovely ribbons on the right and four on the left. And we have three battles left and then the campaign is over. So what else can I say? Oh, and we have adaptation, which is scaling. So anyways, Dangerous Beast is next. And of course, because I'm playing on normal, I can go up to Arma Legend and get an extra 12,000 plus three reputation. So that'll bump everything up a little bit. And here we go. And then after this, um, we'll have two side missions to do, and then a stage change or a, ch or a chapter change. And then, um, you know, we'll just have those final two battles. And there might be, you know, like a side mission left. So I'm not 100% certain. I'm not looking at any of my notes at the moment, so that's why I can't remember everything about the game. Okay, so... Now I think what we're gonna do, and I, it, it, again, when you see these, it matters on where you put whatever you put, depending on what you're gonna be getting against. So, but anyways, um, you can see I have three first-rate ships. So maybe I'll put two there and one there, and then we have two second-rate ships. So maybe. I could put those two there, maybe. Okay. And so we have Martha. Okay, so of these, 980, 980. And I, oh, I did make a fire ship. So why don't I put the ardent fire ship right there? And that'll complete that group. And then that means the two 980s will go in. So Martha and Anne, maybe it's, maybe I think uh, they're up like that is because Fair Lady and Elizabeth already have three perks, but I think these guys only have two or something or one. I'm not 100% certain, but we're going to go ahead and get in and it gives us 43 and 38. So let's see. All right. Um... Oh yeah, okay. And our task is destroy or capture as many transports as possible, weaken Napoleon and protect in England. Okay, so let's go ahead and see the wind is northeast and the enemy is right ahead of us actually. So, all right. Destroy or capture those ships, okay, so uh, Sally, why are you messing around here? Okay, look, you if you're moving and Sally is not, then what the heck is going on, Sally? Waiting for group. No, no, I, oh, I, I hate groups. I hate groups. I do not want, you know, my, my, my first rate ships to be goofing around. My second rates are already moving. Oh, and my little fire ship. Well, it's not a little. It's a third rate ship. And now you guys, again, please go to full sail. Let's get going. You off this way. You, I mean, all right, look, you, you follow that one. You follow that one. And you just get going, man. I, that's why I hate, um, you know, when they have the ships in a line like this. Um. The first ship is always at half mass or something, and, and, you know, I just don't like it. All right, so anyways, as I discuss this, um, Medusa and Nymph, so... Oh, now, wait a minute. Madi, Gloria. Oh, so they're not even in the battle yet, or or they're coming. Okay, so I might have to make some adjustments. All right. Well, look. Um. 
All right, so let me try to... F okay, so the wind is this way. I guess we're going to have to go that way. Um, yeah, you all are going to have to... Darn. All right, we're all going to have to go that way. So, yeah, we're going the wrong way, actually. We got to... Everybody has to adjust... Like I said, I know I should probably look on my notes and before going into this. That way, you know, I'm aware of the strategy or whatever that I have to do. But right now, um, we got to go with the wind. And yeah, I totally misread this as far as understanding of the... The battle tactic that I would need to have to incorporate and again we have the same problem why can't you go full sail oh so now they're gonna cut in a little bit on us all right well why don't I anchor that ship get this one over here they want to do that kind of stuff um, So it looks like this one wants to come right at us. Um, and and of course, as you know. Um, the wind could possibly change, and then um, this little blockade might not work. I'll put one ship over there. That's an ardent. All right, why don't I just anchor for now? Okay, you, you're going to hit that ship there. Now my... Oh, so... Okay, well, let's see. Well, I guess... Uh, you know, I'm trying to figure out... What I should be doing right now. Oh, well, um, all right, now I know what that is right there. So we are gonna... Okay, now I gotta pause for just a moment because they're breaking my line right here, <laughs> and I, I didn't know this the way I wanted to do it. But uh, but this is what we're in, so I have to try to make some adjustments. All right, because this is just way too many ships at the moment. Okay, so um, now this one should get on fire. Um, these guys you know, probably need to go that way, so that that's okay. Now, this one should be anchored, and we can repair. Um, Sally is in a position to actually board, so why don't we, why don't we try to do that? But we don't want to go into this, because once this one gets ignited, you know what I mean? I would not want these guys to get ignited. So, I mean, and now Anne should be able to come 
over to here to try to grab this one right here. Now, victory, again, this one's going to broadside, so it's not, I mean, I, I, I overextended myself. Now, Black Cat could possibly get here to block and then maybe grab this one, which, you know, it's an art, and, and I don't really want that, but... I'm thinking, and then Martha's going to have to just wait until these two do their thing before she can get into it. And I don't know if she could shoot anything. And, you know, I'm wondering, too, if I could possibly, um, and I can't do it at the moment, but if I could possibly get these guys maybe over to here. Because we got a board in action here, and we can then send them over to the ship if we get it. And then, and this one, you know, yeah, maybe I could get this one to to get. I'm, I don't know if that is even going to work, but the wind is is northeast, so I mean, if I could stop them here to stop this line right here, I don't know. Like I said. You know, I could just redo this and then I would know a little bit better and get set up a little bit better. But as you know, um, when you don't play a campaign for a while, you kind of forget the things. But, but that's about all that I can actually talk about and do. So I think I'm trying to figure out what would be better to watch. But make sure Sally is supposed to... Maybe Sally is who I have to make sure that this happens. And they're always going to do that, and, oh yeah, and see, yeah, and Sally, okay, hold on now. Hold on. Okay, so you see what's going to happen here? If I kept following, I'd be in between these two ships, and that would be a terrible situation to be in. Okay, so now this ship can shoot uh, that one. And then, yeah, you're trying to get over here too. Um... Maybe just get there. I don't know. All right, yeah. Let's let's kind of let's kind of get over here to block. And could any of these guys get on this ship right here? Let me let me see. And these guys are trying to get this way, but they're trying to go through my ship, and that's not going to work. So now I have to tell them to kind of kind of get over here like that. Um. Yes, you're going to do this one and that. Uh, okay, and then you go off that way. Oh, yeah, so this is critical right here. And then maybe Martha could get over here, maybe. Um, or what I could do. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should have... Victory come over this way to take this one out and then leave this one alone. Boy, a lot of decisions here. Okay, um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, that, that might, oh boy. And like I said, you know, this is a, I, I'll tell you what this is, because I, I remember the number 1141 here. Without even looking at this ship, this is a 144 gun ship, um, and and I and believe me, I would love to have it. But if there was one ship to put on fire, it would be this one for now because it would take two of my ships, a coordinated effort to take that ship out. And um, but hopefully there there might be another one in the battle or something, and then maybe I can try to get it. But I have to clear this problem up first. And I'm just giving you my commentary. And, you know, and I, mean, and, and I know it looks like indecision, but um, it's, I, I just, I just, you know, oh, man. I don't know what to, what to do because I got so many critical things going on at the exact same moment. But, yeah, okay, so this is more critical. So, um. I gotta scratch this. I can repair, but I, I gotta. I'm gonna. I have to get this one here. So, 
So I'm going to tell him to shoot that ship and go after that one. Because this guy is just going to come over here and just, it's, it's, it's no good right there. So, all right, so let, let's try that for just a moment. Oh no, rudder brakes. Rudder brakes. All right, hold on. Oh, no. Okay, so yeah. Um, you come over this way, maybe, or you keep coming that way to get this ship. And then you can come that way, maybe. And these guys got to keep getting away from the, the the fire. All right. So yeah, just as I as I pitch it, had I gone in here, I would have been sandwiched, and that would not have been nice. So all right, let's go ahead and see if we can anchor right there. Okay, no artillery shock. So he's he's probably he's probably in the way of of my ship shooting. But I I I gotta make sure I'm targeted on the right the right ship. Okay. So um, so Sally's job will be to get this one, and this guy is going the wrong way and he might interfere with that ship or he might try to turn which could be a problem and then this ship's got to get over here and now this ship can can shoot him and try to get him so he's coming this way so maybe we can we can go right there and then yeah, if we're going there, then that means this one can get here and put a block on this. Okay. All right, so now, depending on what he does, and these guys are just stuck right here burning, it looks like. Oh, and we are boarding right here, so good. Um... And I'm going to repair, so... Okay, I got excited because we are boarding. So then that would mean I can try to, I could try to complete this one right here. And then this ship has got to get over here. Okay, so, all right, so we got one going down. I still got victory in reserve here. So depending on what the enemies do, but I think I need to see this happen. Because if, if I can just knock out some ships... You know, it's and we got we got uh, double rounds right here, so I can put that on, and we'll put double rounds onto him. So yeah, I don't. I'm wonder. I see. Here's a thing, right? I'm wondering if I need to level out a little, or just keep pushing him this way to, to try to get him. Now we we had four guys here, so. This this son of a gun here blasted them, or this ship is blasting my poor lifeboat guys. So they're gonna have to they're gonna have to get over here then. All right, we gonna we're gonna get that one. Okay, so. Okay, now he. He, he's, we're tilted a little bit, so I, I want to cut in, a, oh, I don't know if I should even do that, because if they stop boarding or something, I just counted it in, in order. I didn't like the distance here, because I, I bet the moment we win this, we're not going to be able to put somebody on, we're going to have to drop somebody out, I, I, sometimes when, when it's distance like this, that, that, crap happens but okay so all right enough talk um we're boarding there and now he might try to go this way so maybe i can just 
Like, I don't know if I should put a stop right, right here, maybe, just in case. Now, if he peels off this way, this one can get him and stuff like that. Now, all right, so now, oh, oh yeah, and then we got this one here. Okay, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that'll go down, and, and this one here is coming in this way, so. And this one is going to anchor here, and he can at least... Matter of fact, I'll have him go like that, so he can get a he can get a shot on this ship right here, and we'll go with double shot too because that'll probably damage him considerably. And yeah, see what I told you about this? How he would he would put us in a sandwich, and and now he's interfering with the whole works right here. So, um. All right, hey, 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 we got the board in here too. So, all right, so we got two going down. And that means if, yeah, we're going to see what he does. I just don't want to overshoot him. And if he decides to go that way, Victory can do it. So these guys need to get on a ship. Oh, I'm trying to get him on that one, so. All right, let, let's 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 watch this for a second All right, let's let's anchor for a moment okay so now this we just gotta we just gotta go with the wind and get on to him. Yeah, it looks like he's going to try to follow this way. Yeah, we're still in progress here. Put double shot and try to get him. Ah, this is really tough at the moment. <laughs> Only because, and we still got three ships here. I mean, that's, that's quite a bit. But, okay. So, it appears that he's going that way. So, we're going to have to go that way a little bit. This one needs to close in on him. Yeah, and then we got we got hit. Here's a here's a big problem. We got Mr. Fire Ship here, the 144 gun ship. We got that one that he's still sailing while he's engulfed in flames. And if he comes into this, we're gonna have some serious problems. All right. Well, hey, good. They let us do this. Okay, so what we're gonna do here we're just gonna drop what's called the minimum crew which is 60 so we only lose 60 guys and so that's a done deal um but because i got it paused i can't get out of it which really sucks okay so let me let me all right let me think about what i can do here well well because i i hate i hate the game where it where if i'm paused i can't I can't end this, you know what I mean? Like, I cannot end it, so. Uh, so let's get you over there. Let's try to do some touch-up stuff. Yeah, see, I want this ship, whatever this ship is. If I look through this, oh, I can't, it's a victory class. Yeah, so I want that ship, okay? Seeing I killed the 144 gunship, then I, I need to at least get a victory. So... Normally when they go like this, I'll say stop, shoot him, and then grab the next guy. But this is stupid Ardens right here. And I don't, you know, I just make those fire ships. I don't want them. I need at least victory class ships because 
in the final two battles, I'm probably going to go against a lot of 144 gunships, and I need, I need, I need to, you know, like I said, we'll see how this goes, but, um, yeah, I don't know why that ain't going, okay, and what, I'm just going to have to see what's going to happen here. Unless I, I close it in a little bit more. All right. Um, and okay, good. I, I just paw unpaused. So now um, I got to get on this ship. This ship over to there, then then this ship needs to move that way just to get up out of here. And hopefully this will go down. Okay. Alright, so I need to, that's, that's why I needed to clear that up. So now what would be the best move is to try to get this going. Okay, so my, my fire ardent finally blew up. And and this one's getting away and it it really irritating me. And and he's getting away. So he's not alright, so I'm just gonna have him shoot that one then. Darn AI. Hey, now, he's going to actually go into him, but... Okay, so double shot into him. We got to definitely sink that ship. And matter of fact... Um, matter of fact, I can probably turn this ship a little bit so we can at least shoot that ship right there. Hey, and and those ships, those four ships that are coming, I bet you both of those ships are going to be in there. Because none of them was in this pack. And and you know and I and I'll tell you this and this is just my opinion but it kind of looks like we could have now hey there's there's some over here hold on hold on why can't I why can't I see over here oh no here they are right here they're behind me. Here they are, right here. Okay. And we're way over there. So then that other pack of four right here. Oh, yeah. These are warships. So, okay. So here's another 144 gunship. So maybe, maybe this is be the one that I'll try to get. So, yeah, because we, we already set one on fire. So, I mean... Okay, so, all right, so, anyways, uh, we got a heated battle right here, so, I mean, I just got to try to solve this problem right here. I mean, he's going, he's going against the wind, he's going to go against the wind, um, and so I don't want to go against the wind, so maybe I can go... I can go and get this one right here. Yeah, 
you know, maybe. And then this one has got to turn this way to get him. Oy. All right, well, I, I still don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to go ahead and try it. Just like he's still got 80 guys. He hasn't even, we haven't even won this one yet. I mean, I know I keep pausing, but it's because there's too much going on in the battle. Okay, so he's going backwards, so I shouldn't have to worry about that here. So if I just keep him in position, he either, he is either going to suck this one in or he's going to destroy him. So that'll take care of that problem. Now, yeah, we could get a good shot on him, but I think the play will be to take out this guy right here. And, I, and I'm wondering if the, the lifeboat guys all got killed or did they get on the ships that I told them to get on to. I, I know we lost a couple of lifeboats. Hey, and we got this one. So again, we're going to go to minimal crew. And the only thing I can do is tell this ship to head that way and tell this ship, but I can't get control of it. So let me, let me tell that ship to go there, please. Yeah, we're, we're shooting that one. Okay, so um, let's see how this is going to work. You got to go that way. Yeah, because my, my goal is, is I, like, I don't care about the little ships. Like, we can destroy them. We, we only get, like, four rep for them, so it's not, it's not like, a lot that I'm going to lose. And, and, and don't forget, we got these big warships coming. So, um, so then... Anne has to get over there, I believe. Okay, Anne has to clear out. Victory. You're probably going to have to go over there. Okay, so then Sally and Britannia. I think I need to be controlling these, so... Sally's going to go that way. Come on, Sally. You can do it. Okay, pause. And then... Um, yeah, you got to go this way. Or should I, hmm, so the wind is still east-north, so it's, because, hmm, I might be able to still come, well, suppose I go like this. And... Victory should at least, sh yeah, shoot that ship right there. Can we go double? Like, yeah, I don't care if we can destroy that ship. That'd be, just get him out of here. Now, this ship here is going to head off that way. And so is this ship. And that one's shooting that one. And... We're already going to board this one, but it's sinking, so it might be stupid to put a unit on there, but... Britannia... Yeah, I really don't... Oh, I'm going to come this way, then. Oh, 
Oh, he's turning that way though. All right, well, we'll 25 guys, so we'll just put the 25 guys on and then we will head head this way. See, what I'm worried about is this guy might come over this way to hit me. Okay, now you got to cut in. You got to cut in. And go to go to that. All right, we got, we initiated boarding. So that, we'll take care of that. This 144 gunship is still burning. And we have our ships here that we can, we can have them uh, shoot him. And that one's anchored, but this one, yeah, this one needs to just sail out of here. Because they're going to be in my way. And just like this one's got to get going. Like why isn't he going? So yeah, we got him. So that is A-OK. -okay. So now... And and I'm, I'm terribly sorry for pausing here. But this is the only way to do multiple things at once. Um, just like this guy has got to get over here. And this guy uh, can can just anchor okay because if he th he's gonna sink anyway but all right so let's go ahead and get this ship over here The way I, the way I, you see that I'm playing is, I, I try to take out the enemy, and as best I can, and because this was the initial enemy, so I, I want to take them out. We just got to get those two transports to, to actually win the game, to win it. But I, I hope to have something left to at least. Because once we get these, I'm going to bet you can just end this battle. But I think, I, you know, I would, I would, for the last two battles in the campaign, I would love to have at least one 44-gun sh gun ship. These other ones don't really matter to me. Because, you know, I think I already have nine. Well, no, if I count the Bellonas, um which are third rate ships. So yeah, I would I would like to move up to all first and second rate ships, but uh there's only two battles and so it doesn't I don't know if it'll be likely that I can do that, but we'll see. So now can can Yeah, see, okay. So yeah, you got to get over here real quick. So yeah, Let's repair. Yeah, I just cannot get this ship to get past the ship. Like, I, I don't think I have this ship moving. So, this ship has just got to get, get past here. Yeah, see, that's the trick of the AI. Alright, hold it. That's the trick of the AI, to be stopped. So then you come up and stop, and then they get going again. That's, that's one of their tricks. 
And now he's going to be in a position to hurt my ship. So, so get going. And now you... Alright, so hey, these, these two got, got by, so I don't know if the wind is going to stay, but if I can get those guys out of here, that'll be two Ardents that I can sell, so I'll have enough rep to buy the other ships. Okay. And if they're coming straight into my blockade here... Okay, so then the only thing I have to work out is how I'm going to deal with the rest of these two ships now. We're bored in here, and, and I anchored this ship, so hopefully he'll be able to shoot this one, maybe, and if not, depending on what this one does, but... It's a possibility that I might be able to get this ship finally. Okay, so, so that it's it's working. It's working so far. Up oh, and, and 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 yeah, they they they. All right, so why don't you head to that ship right over there? That ship sunk. All right, so that worked out of, of Britannia putting a block on him. And now I can use this ship now to try to get this one. All right, well, this guy's wounded, so I'm just going to drop him in. Yeah. I'm just going to drop him in and then I got to get I got to tell that ship to get over there. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm telling all the ships to go back to regular round ball because that'll give us the longest shot possible. And, and they can repair each other. Hey, hey, and this one's boarding actually, yeah. 
So, all right. So, I mean, I got to watch out for those transports because without those transports, you know, as you can see right here, without these transports, we lose. <laughs> so all this effort that I'm making right here would be a waste, <laughs> okay? Because I will not accept a defeat. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm doing a good job of ra of getting all these guys, you know, I, I just, you know, whatever. Okay, so. Now, this ship has got to get going because I, I just want them out of the way. And I'll tell you, when we're boarding, I wish that this side here would broadside. I, I don't like the fact that it doesn't. I mean, that would be a clear shot right there. But if I tell them the broadside, they'll stop boarding. Hey, but then Sally can come over here. Sally can come over here to get this one. And he just gave up, so... Hey, and this one gave up, so we're going to just drop somebody in there for now. And then that means Britannia... I don't know how many Britannia has at the moment, because I can't see... Oh, 1,200, so... Yeah, see, I hate the fact that I can't get rid of this when I pause it, but, you know, I have to... You know, whatever. Okay, come on. Go, go that way. And then your job is to go that way. And you gotta stop so we can put somebody in there. You gotta head off that way. Ah, oh, and look it. Okay, hey, you know what? Have this unit go over here. And get this ship right here. It takes forever to stop these ships. Okay, so now we gotta figure this out. Look at look at these guys. And of course I have to find the uh, transport ships, but um You know it's almost enough time to try to get all these ships before these guys interact with us, but they're getting really close. Okay, so we are shooting at them. Now, I don't have anybody capable of taking him other than Victory and maybe Martha. And I, I just got to see where these guys are because we're going to have to intercept them. 
They're way over there. Yeah, I'm right now I'm starting to think I, I need to start diverting some ships to, to get over here to go after those transports. Otherwise, I'm going to end up losing this battle. But... I'm just trying to close this loose end over here. Yeah, this is going to get kind of dicey at the moment. Now this little crew here is supposed to get on that ship right there. Oh, and this guy surrendered, so then that is good, because then I can cancel that, and I can have these two ships over here to take this 144 gun ship, I think. And I have Black Cat, and I have this ship. And I'll anchor that ship, but I have this ship. We're going to try to get those to go after the the two merchant ships. And these ships just got to go off that way, I guess. And now he gave up, so this ship here is going to have to... Sally is going to have to drop out somebody... to take that ship so now I gotta um like I said uh I think if I can get the 144 gun ship depending on what these two are gonna do um I have to really concentrate on the transports because without them I lose the battle so I mean but I gotta play this guy because if he if he turn like I don't think he can turn that way because he's gonna be against the wind
Okay, so now this is very critical here. Um, I'm going to tell him to get over there. I'm going to tell Sally to go down this way. So the way I'm going to try to play this is I think we're going to, if we can get the board in, and then I'm going to have to dump everybody out of here to drop onto here. Because if I try to come this way, we're going to be against the wind. So I, I might anchor her and, and have this one come this way. Okay, so now while this is while this is all going on, yeah, see, he's getting in my way, darn it. All right, so you over here, you go off that way. Oh yeah, and we're against the wind, so we we might have a serious problem of getting those transports cuz Oh yeah. But, hey, folks, if I goof this up, you'll learn from my mistake. You know what I mean? But you got to get this, this ship right here, okay? Now, Come on, the AI always going to do that to get away, go against the wind. Where are they? They're right there. Alright, it's, it's, it's uh, like I'm almost in crisis mode at the moment because I cannot let those guys get away. I absolutely cannot let them get away. Now, like I said, I did want this 144 gunship. And we can take this victory one here. All right, come on, game. Come on.
Yeah, so I mean, they actually have four ships. I mean, I, I was just realizing that. <laughs> they actually have four warships. I mean, oh my goodness. So I'm, I'm, you know, messing around with this big time. Hey, hey, on the Britannia, we're out of the double shot. We, we spent it all. It was like 500 rounds. Like, we blew 500 rounds already. All right, man, I don't know why the game is acting weird, but okay. All right, so Britannia is doing it. So maybe I, if I can't get this ship, you know, I'm at least getting a victory class ship right there. And let's take a look over here for just a moment. You can see I have three ships. Okay, so these guys... These guys are heading out of... Hey, this is a first-rate victory class ship, too. So, all right, so I already have one of those. Okay, that's an Ardent, and this one's probably an Ardent. Oh, this is a fifth-rate ship. Oh, okay, so... All right, so one Ardent, one fifth-rate ship, and one first-rate ship. So, at a minimal, I can at least add that to my fleet at a minimal and we're probably getting one right here so maybe um you know i i i can see if victory can try to do it maybe maybe i should still try to pursue this All right, well, I must have some things going on in the computer that's making it act like this, but... I mean, do you see how the AI does that, though? Okay, so we're coming down to the nitty-gritty right here. The nitty-gritty.
Okay, so now this is very this is going to be very close. He's got one perk. I have three. I do not have the boarding kit, so therefore I'm not going to benefit from that. So this is going to be really close. Okay, it's a first-rate ship against a first-rate Santa Kigo, whatever that, however you pronounce that. But this is a 144 gun ship, and so this would be the capital ship if I could get him into my fleet now I don't know why you're not boarding so maybe I cannot move either of these ships and we'll just try to wear him down so that means uh, Sally can head this way too And like I said, I really got to get Britannia over here because just in case I lose my victory class ship. Britannia. I'm just going to drop these guys out once this ship stops because just in case, just in case. Okay, somebody surrendered. Now, notice I'm giving all these lifeboats orders to get on our ship, right? Now, if our ship gives up, these guys will stop, and you have to continually tell them to get on the ship. Otherwise, we lose our ship. So, this is vital that one of these guys gets on. Yeah, look, he even gained a star in this melee and... Okay, we got it. All right, there we go. Okay. All right. Um, I gotta pause for a minute, or pause for a minute. I gotta pause. Okay. So now, All right, I just got to tell everybody to get over there just in case. We cannot let that ship get away. Oh, 
אוקיי. Okay, so this is for all the, for the whole win here is I got to get to these ships now. This is, uh, now that we wiped out the entire warship fleet, and I got a 144 gun ship that I captured along with a cup with two first rate victory class ships. But if I don't knock these guys out, either destroy them or get them before they get to the, uh, the safe zone, which I gotta watch out for where the border is. And if the wind changes, and just in case it does, I'm trying to tell other ships to to get in different spots so that way oh yeah I see the wind changed again Yeah, I'll tell you, like, um, if I can complete this, um, this would be wonderful. I mean, for me to wipe out their entire warship fleet and still have time to get these two before they escape, um, I just think this would be amazing. And to still have a fleet capable of taking these out because they got 600 but I, I just got to close the gap and I can go to uh, maybe can grape shot I mean I still got double shot because I, I guess I could I could hurt some of their armor first like, I don't know. Let me see. Let's try, let's try double shot for just a moment. Onto that ship right there. Like I said, we can destroy these anyways, um, or capture them. Now, like I said, be because I didn't look at my notes, I don't know if we get any money for these, because sometimes they do give us money for capturing transport ships in some of these battles. So now let me see, I knocked out armor on this side, so let me see if I can do canister to kill the personnel. Because I, I definitely got to get them below 500 for me to try to board. And I'll have this one shoot, 
Hey, he gave up. So that's good. Let's just uh, drop somebody out. Let's drop somebody out of this one. All right, so this is going to work out. Because we got one of them. And they and we have 500 prisoners. And now this ship here is going to blast him. And we're going to just tell him to get past my my warship there and Okay, we're just going to see if we can, uh, we're going to see what double shot does to a ship, a transport ship. Okay, he should be able to fire. Not much, not much. Okay, so we just got to do this right here. We'll do one more round of double shot. All right, so now I'm going to drop somebody out of, Min of Min Minotaur, or Minotaur, excuse me. Okay, we did it. We did it. Another 500 prisoners. Wow. All right, so this was Dangerous Beast, and um, I, I just can't believe that I took out their entire fleet. I mean, because technically it looks like you could you know, fight them a little bit, get maybe one, a couple of ships, and then come over to this way over here for when these transports come, Let's get them, and once you get them, you can end the battle. But, as you can see, I wiped out their, their entire fleet. Um, I, okay, so this is what I had. This is what they had. Okay, so one of the little ships sunk and 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 one 144 gun ship sunk cuz I set it on fire. The only reason I lost a ship is because I had a third rate ardent fire ship. 
Um, I did lose 3,000, but I mean, you know, a lot of boredom uh, on all of these. So you can see how you're going to lose quite a bit. I mean, but I got all, I got the entire fleet. So, I mean, that has to be considered, you know, to be a really good thing. So anyways, yeah, look it. A 144 gun ship destroyed. And a 144 gunship captured, a 112 gunship captured. Um, and at the end of the battle, we'll see if you get anything for these two transports. Like, did they give us cash or something? We'll find that out shortly. Because, you know, I, cu I could have had an option to just blow them, you know, sink them. So, okay, so we lost the captain. Uh, three guys wounded, so that kind of sucks. Loss just means they were on fire ships and they and they somehow survived it. But this guy, this one, he might have he could have died on one of my ships on Melee-in, or he could have died from a fire ship. Um, because I know I had four lifeboats, I had two sets of four lifeboats. And and the first set I saw one go down, so I mean. Oh, uh, so we only had three of those, so that officer would have died. But anyways. Ah, yes! Okay, look! Look! Okay. Yeah, look at that. $110,000 to capture those two. So see what I mean? If you sink them, you know, it, you, you still win the battle. But if you capture them, you get a hundred and ten thousand. So that's what I said. I usually when they when you have to capture transport ships, usually I I I'm, I don't want to say a hundred percent, but I'm going to say in the majority of battles where you have to capture transports, capturing them, you get money rewards for doing it. I'm going to say, you know, 90% of the battles where you capture these, you're going to get some money. And, and and that's big at the end of the campaign is to have a lot of money to because to, just replacing one of my ships is going to cost me, you know, like 30 or 40K. So, all right, that's about all that I can do as far as spend on here. If, uh, hopefully, you know, you can s pause the picture if you want to see more of of whatever these screens are but okay we're gonna get back into this because we got it this a long this was a long battle i still got a harbor to do i still got some tra uh some other stuff to do all right so yeah look we lost we lost a captain on sally so that and we only okay we gotta have somebody better than that come on All right, well, we got a captain right here, so we'll put him there. And she earned a perk. We're going to go with the speed. So that's all good. All right, so let's look at our ships to make sure we have officers. So these two ships survive. Sally... Hey, and Britannia gets their last perk. Martha lost an officer here. We lost two officers. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is is get rid of these two ships. And we're going to get rid of that one.
Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and grab this 144 gun ship right now. Now, of course, by doing this, we know that um, it's gonna scale up pretty big now. So, anyways, that's what I can say. Okay, and, and we know we don't like Armstrongs, so we'll take those off. And we already know that, and this is going to be expensive, and that's why capturing those two transports was vital. We're going to put that on. We're going to put that on. And double shot. Uh, these officers kind of suck, but, you know, we just want to get some on there for now anyways. Um, Ah, uh, we don't have any of these. Okay, so with with these guns, I can put 1300 on. And we still have, you know, 800 pounds to mess around with. So either an upgrade or upgrade these. So let's see if we can get something. Yeah, so we can go with nine of those. So can we go anything bigger right here? Well, we could go with another set of these. Yeah, so I mean, I can try the nines and with these. So when we're up close, we'll get 17 damage. And these are only 7 though, so that's not great. But that's what I can do for right now, so I'll cancel that now that I know I can put guys on here. So again, I can get rid of Okay, so now let's take a look at our ships, right? Just for a moment. We got one, two, three. 
four, five. This will be six. And then we have Bellona class ships. Or we can add one of these ships. And at the moment, again, I'm going to just put uh, officers there. Now, while we have the money, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put, well, let me hold off on that for a minute. Let, let's bump this up to 1,200 for now. Now, I know with this type of ship, I usually take off those. And I usually put on a repair kit, so we'll go ahead and do that real quick. A structure repair kit. I know I want double shot. And we'll go ahead and put double shot. But we do not have Oh yeah, we do not have anything. Yeah, we do not have anything. Unless I go with the ATs, I mean I have no choice. That's all I can put there for now. So yeah. But doing that, I can I can still have twelve hundred. So that that just tells me I can do that. All right, so. Again, let's. Uh, I gotta count the ships, right? So I have one, two, three, four, five. And this will be six and seven. Eight, nine, ten. So that means I can get rid of one ship. So that means, I guess it's going to be Martha. Well, wait, we got some guys here now. Are these bad? No, oh, these are bad guys. Okay, well, let, let's see. We'll use them up. Okay. So, again, um, they're going to be level only level two but but i but i think um i'm gonna do that so that means um this ship will, will become martha And what I like to do is just shorten it, uh, shorten the name. I'll sell this ship. Hey, and you know what? We'll have these officers too. So, 
So what we're going to do is transfer this crew to the Martha ship. Okay, and, and Martha will go into the side mission to try to get another perk here. And, and now I got to consider what I want to do with this one. Oh, and yeah, and I can sell this ship. So we're going to go ahead and find over here this ship here. So we're going to get 18000 for a Bellona-class ship to sell it. So that bumps me up a little bit. On uh, naval guns, as you can see here, um, I'm going to get rid of the Armstrongs. I mean, I can always buy Armstrongs, but I don't like Armstrongs. So I'm just going to get rid of them, and that'll give us some extra money. And I don't use the bloom fields. Now, if any of you do, you can tell me why. But I'm going to sell those. And I got these. I can sell these to 32 pounders. Okay, so um, you can see the kind of guns that I like are in here. Oh yeah, and we can sell these. Okay, so that gives me a little bit more money to play with. Okay, so now... Um, Let's see how many ships again I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I take Anne and Elizabeth, or just Anne, and if I buy up these for 23,000 and then I minimize her and then I go over to this ship And then it's going to cost 25000 to get to 13 and we'll only have two perks, which is, eh, it's acceptable to me. And so therefore, you know, I have this, and this will be my capital ship, even though it doesn't have good rifles and stuff. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Victory class ship and I'm just going to take myself off. And I can put this Commodore there, so this ship will still be, you know, with good stats. Um, and then I can come over here, and I can uh, put myself here. And this will become, and look, I have a hundred, hundred, hundred.
Okay, and, put, and I put better officers on, so... And now, now, uh, I took some guns off the uh, Bellona class ship, so I wonder if there's anything available. Uh, still, still nothing, nothing big available at the moment, as you can see. So what about here? Well, we could go with the 12 pounder. Hey, we can even put this uh, 24 pounder there. We can put the 24 pounder there. So this ship will do a lot of damage up close with, with these three types of guns on the ship. And we'll only have one long distance uh, gun. And it's all within weight. So, so yeah. So I think that's what we're going to do. So, so I have these two ships that are maxed out. I don't have the rest of my fleet, uh, you know, ready, so, um, oh yeah, okay, okay, so, uh, so Ann, I gotta buy I gotta buy Ann's back. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so so uh, looking at this, how I'm gonna do the side missions, right? And and look at we got that many. So let let's let's first of all see. As you can see, I got seventy four thousand. I got only one career point. So, you know, um, well, I do ship upgrades, so let's go ahead and do that. So now we've got ship upgrades uh, maxed out. We just need two ships, and we just need two ships. So, um... So basically what I what like to do is I like to see who needs the extra perk. So we know Sally needs it. So Sally is one. Anne is two. Martha and Scorpion. So Sally and so I said Martha and Scorpion. And then I think I said Sally and Ann, so maybe I should make sure that they're fully staffed. And, and this is what I'm talking about, why the, uh, and Ann is already, I already spent the money. And this is why, you know, I, I said it's better to capture those transports to get that extra money because... It is very expensive to do what I'm doing on these ships. So it was Ann, it was um, Ann and Sally. Now I'm hoping Ann and Sally can do the job though. So Ann, 
and Sally. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go to the next chapter. All right, this time I'm gonna take the money. Okay, so as you can see, uh, none and light and heavy and medium. So we have uh, 21 and 10 reputation, 21,000. No, nobody got sunk. And you can see right here, 27,000 and 10. Uh, this ship got sunk, heavy and sunk. Rumors of a huge combined French and Spanish fleet have turned out to be true. The, 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 the climatic encounter appears to finally be upon us. Despite the odds, we must prevail or no one will be left to stop Napoleon. The French, the French fleet at Tolan has managed to break out and has crossed the Atlantic in an attempt to link up with the fleet from Brest that was already at sea. If these fleets were to combine, we would be gravely outmatched. The eyes of all England are upon you and your men. Plus 200 reputation change. All right, so as you can see here, we have uh, we have three good modifiers. Good is blue and bad is red. So we have minus 20% on weapon costs. We have minus 20% if we wanted to buy a ship. And we have minus 20% on ship repair. Well, that's good. And the battle of this, uh, you know, Finestri, or however you pronounce that, but here's the map. And as you can see, Five and five, you know, you can do just four and four, but I want five and five. So th these, these, these are the last two battles, this one. And then after this chapter, another one. And that's why you need. And that's why in a British campaign, all you need is 10 ships. So you can see here, um, he didn't earn the perk, so that's that. Martha didn't earn a perk. Anne lost, and she didn't earn a perk. And who else was it? Was it Sally? And Sally didn't earn a perk, so oh well. Okay, so now the other thing that you have to consider when, you, when you're doing stuff like this is it's costing me $56,000 for the crew. It's costing me $16,000 for the fleet. So you can see how expensive it is to have some of these ships. So now what I got to consider... Okay, so this ship is fully ready. This ship is fully ready. Oh yeah, and this ship, oh, okay, so now I got to I got to blow some money. Because I do like full crew, so I got to put that there. That cost 17,000 and now I can have a full crew. Yeah. Okay, because you have to consider um, if you got the money now. Again, look at this. I'm down to this now. And we just got to go a little bit here. Not enough weapons. 
And this is where, oh, okay, we have those. Um, but would I rather have those on a, this, this ship? Oh, but we already have these. Okay, so, you know, geesh, um, all right, so I'm going to try to save some money right now. Okay, so anyways, uh, as I was saying, I, I thought I had... Oh, but because those other ships took some of those guns, I don't have the 1200 anymore. So, okay, so then Victory is just going to have to have this this one. This ship has to have that one. Okay, this is where I, I eat up some of the I eat up some of the experience. Oh, we can't do it on this one. Oh yeah, so that'll take my money right there. So and no, I don't know. I'm on Breton. Okay, so let me see. What about... Okay, so Anne is good. Elizabeth is is not good. Um, can we take some out of her? Uh, negative. So could I get her to there? Not enough weapons. All right, well, we're going to use what we have because that's the only way to save money, I guess. So we're just going to do that. So now I'm down to 17,000. But the last two ships are all good. So that means... Okay, so that means the only, the only ship that I need to... If I want to fully staff... I need 26. Okay. All right, so that breaks me. So that is it, folks. Okay, so as you can see, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll be ready for the next battle. Uh, that's the way I did my fleet. I know it's a long video, but I try to show everything. So some people just like to see the harbor stuff. So anyways. And we didn't earn this last ribbon yet. So, but anyways, we only have two battles left.
And uh, so that is it. So no matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day or a great afternoon or a great evening. Take care of yourself. Always be kind to people. God bless to you and your own religion. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos, and adios, the lovely amigas.